Here we're asked to complete square for this complicated uh, uh, polynomial here. It's, it's actually quadratic. So the first thing you need to do is pull the coefficient out. Okay, leave the leave this one alone there. So you have x squared minus 8, so this is plus, over 3x. So because I divided by minus 3 here, I minus minus become positive. So, And then I'm going to do is minus 6 all the way over there. The reason I have it over there is um, I'm going to add a number and subtract a number. The reason I add a number is I wanted the first three become a complete square. That's what completing square means. Okay, how to find this number is you take whatever the coefficient is in front of you and divide it by two and you square it. It looks more complicated than it actually is. Eight over three divided by two is really over eight over three times half or eight Actually, let's cancel this one. So 2, this is 4. So it's really 4 over 3, and we're going to square this whole thing. Okay, so we're just going to put a 4 over 3 squared. Since I added a 4 over 3 squared, I better subtract it, because otherwise I changed my original equation, or original expression over here. So let's recap. Minus 3, I pulled the equation out. I left the 6 all the way over there, so I didn't pull the minus 3 out of the min minus 6. Okay, now having done that and found the magic number, I'm going to regroup the first three terms over here. Okay, And that's happened to be a complete square. It's actually x plus 4 over 3, the whole thing squared. Okay, Then minus, let's multiply this out. It's uh, 4 times 4, 3 times 3. Now, you notice I didn't put a 16 over 9 out. That's because later on I'm going to have to multiply 3 anyway, so I figure out this way I'll see the cancellation easier. Let's distribute this minus 3 into the first one, not, not inside the parenthesis, but inside this whole bracket over here and distribute here. So I have minus 3 times x plus 4 over 3 squared. Okay, Minus 3 times minus, that gives me a positive. 4 times 4 over 1 of the 3, and then a minus 6. That's how I get rid of the bracket. And a couple more steps, then over there, x plus 4 over 3 over here, and then let's combine this one. Okay. Common denominator of 3 and 16 on top, and then I have a um, uh, minus uh, 18 here. Okay. One more step, and then over there. So the answer is minus 3, x plus 4 over 3 squared, plus, this is a negative actually, 2 over 3. Okay. So here's your answer, okay? Have a confident day.